Good morning, everybody, and as always, I want to welcome you guys back to the shop. As you can see, it's a brand new day, and we also have a new project. Now, I know what you're saying. It's got that blue oval on it, but it will be just fine. So, with that being said, what we're going to be doing to this 95 Bronco, as you can see over here, is we have a roll cage. Now, this cage, I'm not 100% sure where it was purchased from, but this is basically a pre-bent, pre-notched, tacked together kit. They basically jig it up wherever the guy bought it from and then make sure it all fits. They mark everything rather well. They cut it back apart, then they ship it. Today, we're gonna tear this thing apart, remove what interior panels we need to and carpet, and I'm going to try to get this thing installed. But before I get into it, I want to do as I always do. I wanna thank you guys for subscribing to the channel Additionally, I want to thank you guys for liking the videos and the comments. So anyhow, if you want, let's jump along here and let's see if we can get this cage installed into this Bronco. Okay, we're gonna do a couple things while I have this instrument cluster sitting here on the dash. <laughs> It ain't on dash no more. Okay, I am back. And after studying this thing just a little bit, I, I pretty much know what I'm gonna pull out of this thing. So what I'll tell you, the guy that owns this thing for now, he's wanting to leave the carpet in it. So I think I'm gonna pull, remove the, enough panels and get the carpet pulled back. And then I'm gonna end up just trimming the carpet around the pipes. But I don't know, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it on this, on this upright bar. But as I was talking earlier, the company basically they jig this thing together and then they tack everything and then what they do is as you can see here they've got all of these numbered and you'll see where they cut the tacks loose they have everything numbered to where it goes back together as they jigged it up so i'm going to start disassembling this thing and uh, i might actually put the main halo together out here and use these lineup marks and tack everything then lift it all up in there and set it in place so Anyway, that's what I'm going to do next, and uh, I'll get the camera set up, and we'll get right after it. Okay, so after studying this a little bit more, um, I typically will have plan A, B, and C. Right now we're on plan B. So given the fact that I've just broke my Torx bit on this seat belt bolt, um, I was gonna get these panels completely out of the way. But after I studied this a little bit more, the only thing that I really need to do to have exposed are the back corners and right here below where this, uh, where this panel drops off. And that right there in this area here is where the front bar I think bolts in. So the only other thing that I need is the carpet out of the way on these sides because there are some braces that go down here and they'll bolt into the fender well. So what I may have to do is take the seat belt loose from the top, just kind of lay these panels into the center and then tack these things in after I get this carpet pulled down and then I can trim the carpet. So anyway, I think that's how I'm gonna proceed. So I think what I'll end up doing I'm gonna set the halos, the main bars and the crossbars. I think I'm gonna set them up here into place and I'm gonna tack those. Now, one thing I did notice, and he told me about it yesterday. I'll see if I can turn this camera down, but I do have a small section of rust and depending on where this cage bolts in back here at the back, we will probably have to address just this small section. So. Anyhow, uh, I think that's the plan moving forward. So I'm gonna get set up, get everything up here, get me some ratchet straps so I can hold everything together and then we're gonna get to tacking.
okay, I've got this thing clamped into place and have it somewhat positioned in the truck. I don't know that it's completely square yet, but for the most part, all four of these joints, you can see how they marked them. And you can see pretty much where their tacks were at, and then they cut the tacks back off. So I've got all of those very, very close. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna re-tack this main structure and then once I get this tack together, I, I may add a couple of extra tacks on these tubes. And uh, once I get it where I feel like it needs to sit, then I think we'll go ahead and uh, I'll locate it in the truck and might go ahead and drill the holes. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tack this thing together and we'll see if we can get it going. Okay, most jobs don't go completely without at least one mistake, so we'll get this one out of the way early. I should have slid this crossbar in. Should have slid this crossbar in well before I put that tack on, so I'm gonna have to cut these two tacks real quick, slide this in, and then once I do that, there's an X brace that comes across here. I'll check those, make sure they're gonna fit, and then try this once again. Okay, I've got basically the main structure. I've got it all tacked together. I had to, as I said, <laughs> I had made one mistake. I didn't get that crossbar in there. So basically I had to cut these tacks here loose, got that slid in, and then I had to kind of pull this back together to get this bar back in where it needed to be. I don't know if, the, if it was crooked or what, but anyway, I was able to get that thing pulled into place. All the, all the marks line up really, really well. So the next thing, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put four cornered tacks on each of these joints. And the last thing, and I'll probably, I think I can do this outside of the vehicle, is they've got four braces that go in these corners. So I'll get these tacked in as well. And then once I get everything tacked in, I'll probably figure out a way to clamp it down and keep it from, from distorting as I weld it. And then I think I'll slowly just start welding it out. So. Anyway, I think that's, uh, that's what's up next.
Okay, I was able to get this thing completely tacked together. I went three or four sides on each of these tubes. I don't know if you caught that or not, but I almost did a header off the back of this Bronco getting this cage out of here. And it's kind of shame on me. A lot of times I, instead of fixing up, either using the top of my two post lift to lift it out or we're grabbing a cherry picker and trying to figure it out, we tend to try to think we're tough and bulletproof and try to just manhandle this thing, which although this cage does not weigh that much, but whenever I started bending over to drop it out of the back of that cage, that cardboard slipped on the back of that tailgate. And it was, at that point, it was bail out or you was gonna land on your head. So anyway, luckily I was able to get this thing out. Um, I braced it with, with, uh, with tubing and some other DOM that I have. So, that will hopefully keep the legs from pulling. Unfortunately, what's behind the camera right here, I've got a Camaro sitting there on a frame jig, and that car is actually a project that's gonna be down the road. I need that car off of there because I could have clamped this down on that frame jig, and it would have made this a little bit easier. So anyway, with that being said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start cleaning all these up with a wire wheel, and then I'm gonna go ahead I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get all this stuff slowly welded out before I put these side braces in. Possibly, I may tack those in. Anyhow, I think I'm gonna continue the process of either cleaning, welding out, and tacking them together. There are two bars that I did forget that come off the main hoop that drop back and they bolt into the fender well. So I'll have to lift this cage and set those back in and locate those. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep plugging away and uh, See if I can get this thing welded out. Okay, I was able to get uh, the main part of the cage, pretty much everything here is, is completely and fully TIG welded. So I'm gonna try this just a little bit different than I did yesterday uh, as far as to install this cage, because now it is a little bit heavier with everything on it. So anyhow, I've got, the, uh, I've got all this welded in, so now I gotta fit it back in the truck. Check a couple of measurements before I do that. And then, like I said, the only other two bars are a couple of bars that come off the back that go to the fender wells. So I'll get this thing pretty much set up in the bed, in the bed of this truck and we'll get the, a couple of bolts in each, in each corner and then I'll go ahead and get those braces tacked in and then hopefully we can get this thing completely welded out and done. So anyway, I'll set up and that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, after checking some measurements, these set of posts, they actually sprung out about an extra inch. So I'm gonna to try to take this ratchet strap and I'm gonna to try to pull these things in. I'm gonna to try to pull them in a little bit farther 
than what I need and hope that I can actually get it compressed, which at the end of the day, worst case, I'll set it back on the ground and I think I can, I think I can bounce on this thing a little bit to get it stretched back or get it to pull back. Okay, I've got this cage located in the truck, in the Bronco. So pretty much going off of the body lines um, to be both, both feet are gonna be fairly even with that rib. And they're centered up in the truck. So not really finding anything that really just kind of definite locates it. So I think what I'll do now is I'm just gonna put a couple of holes uh, through the floor on each of those pedestals and then I'll jump back here to the rears. Okay, I noticed on the driver's side, if you'll, if you'll see, we've got a rib in this floor. And for the most part, the two back bolts are pretty well centered in this rib on both sides. But for some reason over here, these holes are gonna hit pretty much on the edge of this. So if you, you see these two marks, I think I'm gonna move these two holes forward and just re-drill holes here. So anyway, I think, uh, like I said, on the passenger side, that it's, it's not that, it's not that, far back so I think just on this driver's side that way I don't get into that rib and it'll have a little bit flatter surface so anyway that's what I'm going to do I'm going to drill them out and and get this front bolted in for good Okay, I've got all four corners bolted down. I've got two bolts in each plate, and I, for the most part, I've got those just snug down. So the last thing that I have to do as far as the cage construction goes is these kicker legs, and basically they are designed to bolt into this fender well and weld into the cage up there. So these are gonna go in next. Um, I'll have to do just I'm gonna have to figure out how to cut this carpet. I don't know whether or not to just roll it out of the way for now, get these mounted and then split the carpet and do this later. But anyway, I'm gonna get these last two kicker legs positioned, get those things bolted down and get them tacked in and welded. So we're gonna do that now. both of these two rear bars fit into place and they fit pretty well. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get set up. I, I may just, I think I'm just gonna weld these in place. I'm not even gonna pull this cage back out. Originally I thought about tacking these in and then just pulling this cage, but this cage for just me being here by myself is pretty much a handful. And I think I 
these are gonna be welds that I can make pretty easily. So I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna get set up and I'm gonna just weld these right here in place. So anyway, I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, that's just about gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, if you can't tell, it's a little bit warm in the shop today and I've had to do most of the work today without the fan because when you're TIG welding, the last thing you want is your fan blowing your argon away from your, from your weld. So anyway, for the most part, I'm pretty well wore out. Uh, I got all the carpet trimmed and uh, that's gonna just about wrap it up on this thing. The Bronco's scheduled to go down to another friend of mine that actually is a buddy of the guy that owns the Bronco and he's gonna end up painting the cage and then they'll reinstall it. So I'll pick up a set of grade eight bolts to put back in the cage and uh, they can kind of do their thing. So other than that, the, the other thing that I have to do to the Bronco is I, there's, there's a very chintzy uh, alarm system that, uh, seems like it wants to go off at will so i'm gonna locate that dude and i'm gonna pull it out of here so no sense in uh recording or videoing any of that because it's pretty much just gonna be boring so anywho i'm gonna uh as i always tell you guys i want to thank you guys for tuning into this channel and uh thank you for watching this video hopefully you you made it to the end of it and uh i didn't bore you to bad bore you to tears too bad so Anyhow, uh, as I always say, uh, thanks, for, thanks for, uh, for coming along, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.